Imagine for a second that you are floating in space, surrounded by an infinite void, and suddenly a colossal sphere of fire appears in front of you, so large that it would swallow entire planets without a trace. This is the scale of the universe, where our sun, the star that warms the earth and sustains life, is just a tiny spark compared to the true cosmic titans. Have you ever stopped to think that there are stars so large that, if they were in the place of the sun, they would swallow up to the orbit of Jupiter? Or that a single star can shine with the force of millions of suns? If this piques your curiosity, buckle up, because in this documentary, we are going to embark on an epic journey to uncover the 10 most gigantic stars in the universe. Before we begin, I want to invite you with all my heart to subscribe to our channel. Just click the red button below, activate the bell, and be part of this cosmic journey with us. Your subscription helps us continue exploring the universe and bringing incredible content like this. Shall we go? The universe is a place of superlatives. Our sun, with its 1.39 million kilometers in diameter, seems immense, but it is just an average star in the vast cosmic tapestry. To put it into perspective, if the sun were a basketball, the Earth would be a grain of sand. But when we look beyond our solar system, we find stars that defy the imagination. Let's start our list with the 10th place. Pollux, an orange giant in the constellation of Gemini, 33.7 light years from Earth. With a diameter of about 12 million kilometers, Pollux is almost 10 times larger than the Sun. Imagine, if the Sun were a one real coin, Pollux would be a dining table. This star shines with a soft orange hue, and its presence in the night sky is a reminder that the universe holds much larger secrets than we imagine. But Pollux is just the beginning. In ninth place, we have Arcturus, a red giant in the constellation of Bortes, 36.7 light years away. With a diameter of 36 million kilometers, it is three times larger than Pollux and 25 times larger than the Sun. Arcturus is the third brightest star in the sky, and its reddish light is visible to the naked eye. If the Sun were an apple, Arcturus would be a car. This giant is in an advanced stage of its life, swelling as it burns its fuel. In a few million years, it may collapse in a stellar explosion. In eighth place, we find Rigel, a blue supergiant in the constellation of Orion, 860 light years from Earth. With a diameter of 97 million kilometers, Rigel is so large that if it were in the place of the sun, it would swallow Mercury whole. Its brilliance is dazzling, and it is the brightest star in Orion. If the sun were an egg, Rigel would be a two-story house. But Rigel is not just big, it is unstable. And astronomers believe that soon, in cosmic terms, it will explode in a supernova, leaving a trail of light that can be seen for generations. These three stars already show us that the universe is a place of absurd proportions, but we are just getting started. Before we dive into the next ones, I want to remind you, if you are enjoying this journey, give the video a like. Now, in seventh place, we find a true monster, the Pistol Star, a blue hypergiant 26,000 light years away, with a diameter of 425 million kilometers. This star is so large that if it were in the place of the Sun, it would swallow the Earth and reach the orbit of Mars. Its brightness is equivalent to 10 million suns, making it one of the most luminous stars in the Milky Way. If the Sun were a tennis ball, the Pistol Star would be a football stadium. Its energy is so intense that it ejects clouds of gas at high speed, creating a nebula around it. But what really impresses is its instability. The Pistol Star is living on the edge, and a catastrophic explosion may be just a few million years away. Moving up to sixth place, we have Antares A, 
a red supergiant in the constellation of Scorpius, with a diameter of 946 million kilometers. Antares is twice as large as the Pistol Star, and 680 times larger than the Sun. If it were in the place of the Sun, it would swallow all the planets up to Jupiter. Its intense red hue is a sign that it is at the end of its life, ready to explode in a supernova that could light up the night sky like a second moon. If the Sun were a wristwatch, Antares would be an Olympic swimming pool. This star is a reminder that, in the universe, even giants have an end. These stars show us that the cosmos is a place of extremes, where size and energy defy everything we know. If you are impressed with what we have seen so far, prepare yourself, because the next stars will leave you speechless. In fifth place, we find Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the constellation of Orion, 642 light years from Earth. With a diameter of 1.3 billion kilometers, Betelgeuse is 934 times larger than the Sun. If it were in the place of the Sun, it would swallow all the planets up to the orbit of Jupiter. Its reddish glow is visible to the naked eye, and it is one of the most famous stars in the night sky. If the Sun were a golf ball, Betelgeuse would be a 50-story building. But what makes Betelgeuse so fascinating is its instability. Astronomers believe it could explode in a supernova at any moment in the next few thousand years. When that happens, it will shine so brightly that it could rival the moon in the sky. In fourth place, we have Mu Tsefe, also known as Herschel's Garnet Star, a red supergiant 6,000 light years from Earth. With a diameter of 1.75 billion kilometers, it is 1,159 times larger than the Sun. If it were in the place of the Sun, its size would exceed the orbit of Jupiter, swallowing everything in its path. Its deep red hue is so striking that it can be seen with small telescopes. If the Sun were a coin, Mu Chefe would be an American football field. This star is a perfect example of how the universe creates objects of almost inconceivable proportions. Moving up to third place, we find V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant 3,840 light years from Earth, with a diameter of 2 billion kilometers. This star is 1 400 times larger than the Sun, and its volume is so large that it could fit more than 1 billion suns inside it. If the Sun were a ping pong ball, V.Y. Canis Majoris would be a cruise ship. Its surface is unstable, and it ejects enormous amounts of material into space, creating a nebula around it. Astronomers believe it is nearing the end of its life, and a supernova explosion may be on the way, leaving a black hole as its legacy. In second place, we have UY Scuti, a red hypergiant 90 by 500 light years from Earth, with a diameter of 2.4 billion kilometers. For many years, UY Scuti was considered the largest known star. To put it into perspective, if you traveled around its surface in a plane at 900 kmh, it would take 3,000 years to complete a lap. If the sun were a pea, UY Scuti would be a mountain. Despite its colossal size, UY Scuti is less dense than the sun, with a diffuse atmosphere that extends over vast distances. Like all hypergiants, it is destined to explode in a supernova, leaving a black hole or a neutron star as a remnant. These stars show us that the universe is a place of extremes, where size and energy defy everything we know. We have reached the last episode of our journey, and now it is time to meet the King of Kings, the star that redefines the concept of greatness in the universe. Before revealing the first place, I want to invite you once again to subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button, activate the bell, and come explore the cosmos with us. Your participation makes all the difference. Let's get to the top of the list. In first place, we have Stevenson 2 to 18, a red hypergiant 18,900 light years from Earth, with a colossal diameter of 3 billion kilometers. This star 
is 2,150 times larger than the sun, and its volume is so large that it could fit more than 10 billion suns inside it. If the sun were a tennis ball, Stevenson 218 would be the Empire State Building. If it were in the place of the sun, it would swallow all the planets up to the orbit of Saturn, making our solar system unrecognizable. Its surface is so vast that it would take thousands of years to explore it. And its intense red glow is a sign that it is at the end of its life. Like all hypergiants, Stevenson 218 is destined to explode in a supernova, leaving a black hole as its legacy. This star is a reminder that in the universe, even the greatest giants are ephemeral, living intense and brief lives before transforming into something new. But what do these stars teach us? They show us that the universe is a place of incomprehensible scales, where our sun, so vital to us, is just a footnote in the cosmic symphony. Each of these stars, from Pollux to Stevenson to 2018, is a story of birth, life, and death, written on scales of millions of years and billions of kilometers. They invite us to look at the sky with humility and curiosity, knowing that we are part of something much larger. And now, I want to make you a final invitation. If you enjoyed this journey, click the subscribe button and join our community of universe explorers. Activate the bell so you don't miss any videos and tell us in the comments what you thought of this documentary. Which star impressed you the most? What did you learn from this journey? Your participation is what motivates us to continue creating content like this. Until the next cosmic adventure.